Alright, welcome back to Daily Car Talks, where I rant, ramble, word vomit my thoughts on training, life, and fitness, and whatever else that I feel like. Um, I woke up this morning, and granted, it's not a lot of snow, but um, woke up and there, my car was covered in snow, just like a, just a dusting, and I live in North Carolina, so you get a lot of people to get really concerned and uppity about all that. Um, but I think it was a great, great example, great... Um, great analogy because I started to sit there thinking okay what am I doing because obviously right now I'm headed in um, to coach some morning groups it's uh, things don't always go unexpected things happen I guess right things don't always go according to plan things don't always go according to what we want them to do um, especially in training how are you going to handle that um, especially when we're looking at certain exercises certain movements um, that we want to implement in a training program and all of a sudden it doesn't work out the way we want it to. Um, that can throw a big loop for coaches, that can throw a big loop for athletes. And I think being able to understand that that's going to happen and that's going to, um, that's going to be one of those things that uh, you're just going to have to deal with on the fly. Personally, it's kind of why I use movement patterns as a way to program. Um, so, Yes, I select exercises within a movement pattern. Um, I've talked before about squatting um, as a movement pattern and not just an exercise. Um, so that's that's one of those. That's a great example. Is you know if we have a main squatting movement and a back squat doesn't work for one person, but a front squat does, we're going to front squat. Um, if a split squat is the clear better option, we're a split squat. Um, there's still squatting patterns. And I think that's one of those things where um, being able to have, now let's just say, you know, you have a movement in a program um, and somebody comes in with a broken arm because I've had this happen. Well, you know, there's a bunch of different movement patterns that we can train um, or even exercises in a specific movement pattern that we can train um, instead of just scrapping it all together. Right? Um, I love the example of uh, an athlete I had who broke his, uh, he broke his arm, like I said, I use that as an example. And, um, you know, having kind of a horizontal push uh, was kind of the goal for the day, just like a full body movement. And he couldn't push a sled. Uh, so what we do, we strapped a sled and he walked backwards with it. Um, those are all things that are easily done. Um, had an athlete who uh, couldn't squat because of, uh, I'm trying to remember what the certain issue was. Um, that one may have actually been an arm too. Uh, but we threw a weight vest on her and she split squatted and it was great. It was a great choice for her. Um, so unforeseen things happen in programs that happen day in, day out. Sometimes it's a space thing. You don't have the space you need. Sometimes it is a... Uh, a movement pattern issue for an athlete or a client or sometimes it is just uh, a culmination of a bunch of things so being able to tackle those um, they're gonna get thrown at you so handle them as they come um, don't let it throw you off too much because there's always different things you can do um, you can always do something and it's just gonna happen and you just kind of deal with it so until next time uh, we'll see you later